boy Prophet, we're getting it, E-N-T, and you're listening to Let's Chop It Up with Trey Boogie. Whoop. F&G shit. Shot the whole day, go. Shot the bro Trey Boogie. We slide. Sliding in the rental, trying to run the milli up. In the southeast, Trey Boogie been a plug. Rubber bands on the blues, hella panoramic views. If you get into it with the squad, you can never lose. Uh, uh. It's on the flow like yellow rider. I got your vibe on her toes like nail polish. In the city, we get respected from everybody. You about to pull up on Trey Boogie, now let's chop it. If you talking about the game, let's chop it up. If you talking about the hustle, let's chop it up. If you talking about the grind, let's chop it up. Talking about some fly vibes, baby, let's chop it up. If you talking about the game, Let's chop it up. If you talking about the hustle, let's chop it up. If you talking about the grind, let's chop it up. Talking about some fly vibes, baby, let's chop it up. Let's chop it up. Got a wet, it's not a cut. Ain't worried about what nobody else got, cause I got enough. Me and Trey Boogie locked in, he threw a lob. I don't heard to be the sauce it up. Can't nobody go hard as us. If you talking about the game, let's chop it up. If you talking about the hustle, let's chop it up. If you talking about the grind, let's chop it up. Talking about some fly vibes, baby, let's chop it up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Game, yes, sir. Hey, yo, it's your big homie's big homie, Trey Boogie, and this is Let's Chop It Up. Hey, today we got a, a, a beautiful, beautiful uh, show for you today, man. We talking about entrepreneurs, you know, cats that's out there on the grind, putting their feet on the turf and doing and making it work, you know. Um, every week, catch me here um, every Thursday, and starting next week, it'll be Tuesday and Thursday on Instagram Live, okay? That's Boogie's Flavor Instagram Live. Um, let's chop it up today. We gonna bring to you Mr. Roosevelt, man. You know from uh, YBNB, one of my sponsors, and he about to give you some news you could use. Hey, Roosevelt. Yes, sir. Give him some news that they could use, man. Oh man, I just uh, thank you for calling, man. As I take care of my heirs, man, on this uh, on this good evening. This is Roosevelt Williams III, president and CEO of a uh, Young Black in the Business. That's the you know you know young in the state of mind. And the color black encompasses and absorbs all the colors in the spectrum. You know, uh, Roy G. B. red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And uh, we describe business as providing a solution for a problem that equates to a profit. After that, again, business, you know, the science of business is providing a solution to solve a problem and making a profit. You know, people call me the young E.F. Hutton. So when I talk, you don't want to take copious notes. So get your power pins out. You know, power is an acronym. You know, the P is for purpose. You got to have purpose. The O is for opportunity chasers. The W, willingness to go solo. E says for being energetic. And R is for relationship builders. I got to say, all things work for good that praise God. But, you know, God is a must. But look, the word for today is auspicious. The word for today is auspicious. And that means promising, success, opportune, favorable. So, you know, have an auspicious day. You know, be auspicious, be promising. You know, uh, you only, you can be helpful. You only got to be one step ahead to be helpful. If you want to help somebody, you only got to be one step ahead. And I want you to know, please and thank you got me through high school. So, you know, be cordial. Please, thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. That, you know, be cordial. Service with a smile. You know, I've been sweating and smiling all day. But before I go, I want to let you know, to get with me, you got to have a clock or a calendar. Your network is your network. When you, uh, you know, dial for dollars, had your clock and had your calendar because, you know, time is money and uh, it's serious. Personal growth creates opportunities. So, look, before we go, you can't lose with the news that we use. It's Roosevelt Williams III, President and CEO of Young Black in the Business, and we shall chop it up again. Hey, hey, I appreciate you, Roosevelt. I highly can. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Peace. Before we go on, I got to um, give a shout out to my sponsors, um, Babylon's Garden. Watkins Bell Bonds, Superior Soul Food, um, SD Elite Sports, J.A. Lupias, and more, Average Joe, and, of course, YBNB. I'll have all their info at the end of the video, so check them out. Now, allow me to introduce to some and present to others. I got two fine gentlemen out here um, that's doing big things in the town. Um, they're selfless. You know, I, I see them doing a lot of things for other people constantly, and... I felt it was only right that I get them in here so we could, you know, chop it up, you know. So allow me to introduce y'all to my man Q Rose and my man Anthony Stay Woke Hawkins. What's up, y'all? What up, what up? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? I hear y'all. I hear y'all good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. 
Yeah, man, I just, like I was saying, I just, you know, as we were talking earlier, you know, we just, I, I really want to highlight y'all and, and, and put that spotlight on y'all for a minute, you know. A minute of your time, just chop it up like good fellas, you know. So let me do, a, you know, less talking right now and uh, allow each each one of y'all to introduce yourself, you know, and what you do. So Q Rose. Yo, yo, what up? Uh, I'm Q Rose. Q Rose, man. You know, I'm Rose Entertainment. And man, we just doing stuff big. We trying to we trying to do stuff for the community for San Diego. Uh, trying to get everybody involved, man. And people are really just trying to start. I want to give everybody the opportunity to to get their dreams out there. You know what I mean? Yeah. You can dream it all day, but until you start doing the work, it ain't gonna go nowhere. So, um, I want to be the person to help people get their work going. You know what I mean? So, uh, we do a lot of different stuff. We do a lot of multimedia, so video, photo, editing, all that stuff, and. and we just do a lot of um, social media management, artist management, everything like that, man. If you think about entertainment, we're going we gonna to do it, and I'm trying to get it built up right now. So, no, we're just doing big things, man. And I see you, uh, music production. Uh, yes, sir. I, I see you doing everything. A lot right, in, the, right. in the field, you know, uh, you're doing a lot of stuff for the, you know, I like to say for the culture, you know. And my man, stay woke. Yes, sir. Stay yes, woke. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How y'all doing? My name is Stay Woke. Um, I do, I print my own clothes. I started a printing business because I felt like I personally have never seen a black printing business myself. I'm not saying that I don't know people who have one because I do now, but before I really started getting heavily involved into all this, I'd never seen one a day in my life. And it's always go to Fairmart. And what do you see in Fairmart? You go to <laughs> T-shirt us. Mart. Right. What do you see in T-shirt Mart? You don't see us there. You don't see us at no T-shirt printing places, but in my mind, I was just like, okay, it's time for me to open up something and just get my foot in there, start somewhere, and just see how far I can go with it. That's right. Um, I also do a lot of community activism. I do, um, I fed the homeless. I fed our community. You know what I mean? During, at the start of this pandemic, I was out feeding our community with people from Paving Great Future. Shout out to you guys. My little brothers. My little mm-hmm. brothers. Um, I, I've done community uh, service as far as like, Cutting yards, painting, demolition, working with uh, towing, moving, and hauling THM with Tyrone Simmons, and also with uh, Stay Down Moving with my boy Mark Vell. You know what I Shout mean? Shout out, that's my bro. You feel me? So I've done I've done a lot from coming from where I come from and doing what and seeing what I've seen. It, it was only right that I started figuring out. Okay, you are gonna keep going this way because you already by the wayside, or you gonna actually get up and do something and make a positive change right. in. in and be something better because you also got a son too. Mm-hmm. So. That's good. You realize that, and um, like y'all brothers is young. Y'all younger than me. You know what I mean. I'm 49, so I like seeing young young cats out there doing that. You know, because y'all this is San Diego. Y'all could be doing a lot more other things. You know, but I see y'all moving and grooving the right way. You know, so what what got you? It's for both of y'all. Whoever want to answer first, what gave you that motivation to get out there to to grind like that? Um, for me, it was honestly, and I'm gonna be real honest. I got tired of sleeping on people's couches. I got tired of sleeping at my U-Haul. I got tired of just being outside all the time. I got tired of being told, oh, if you stay here, you got to be outside. You got to leave when I leave and you can only be back when I'm back. So, you know, I got real tired of that because it's just like, at that point, you don't got no control of your life Mm -hmm. because you are outside all day and whatever happens outside is whatever happens. But the minute you come inside, it's like jail. They they control your every movement yeah. because you can only do so much and you got to walk on eggshells. Their house, their rules. Exactly. And I don't want to live like that. My son shouldn't have to live like that. You know what I mean? And so it's only right that I grew up and realized, you know, it's time for you to get your own and, and, and really be comfortable in what you're doing because you do way too much to be uncomfortable. Right, right. So, Exactly, man. Uh, kind of similar to him, man. I mean, I'm just tired of just sitting here doing nothing when... That's all I did when I was a kid. I was on my own at 15 years old mm. doing nothing because I didn't care. Mm. And, I, you know, I'm grown now. I'm married. I got to really do things and do the things the right way mm. and make the money. You know, at the end of the day, I want to be able to support my family. That's so that, that every day when it's hard, I want to give up because I'm not doing this, not making these sales, whatever it is. I got to remember, like, damn, I got I got to do this now. I can't. I'm too deep into this now mm-hmm. to just not do it. So, um <laughs> I'm just got to keep pushing, man, because that's at the end of the day, you got to push. You got to push. You got to grind. You can't expect something to happen if you ain't really in the work for it. So, And a lot um, of people think like that. I mean, you know, they think they're just going to start a business and tomorrow their life's going to be different. You know, they, they think because they quit their nine to five, 
it's hmm. going to be easier. But they don't understand a, being an entrepreneur. You're not working nine to five no more. Now you're working twenty four seven. And that's what I thought. You know, I, I, I really thought that when I gave up on having a regular job, because I reached that point. I had really reached that point almost two years ago. Mm. And I was just like, you know what? Screw this. I'm I, I'm not working for nobody else. I don't want <laughs> you're not going to tell me what to <laughs> right. do. I'm going to just do this my own way. Mm. And I started I opened up my own little side business called Get to Work. Okay. And the reason I did that was because I was doing moving, hauling, demolition, cutting yards, painting, uh, pressure washing people's driveways. I was window washing. I you 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 call me for it. Whatever. I'm gonna try to do it, and if I can't, I'm gonna have somebody teach me. And the next week, that the next time that you call me, I bet y'all know how to do That's it. Right. You That's know? right. You know. So I just had to. I had to. I had to. I had to figure it out, man. Mm. Definitely. Yeah. But, uh, what about um? You know, like people. They don't understand. Like a lot of people, just like I, I want to touch on that because people really do think it's very easy just to get out there and and, nah. and do something. Mm. You know, to be an entrepreneur, to start a business, but they don't understand the the, the hustle and bustle go with it. You know, the how many times you felt like giving up, man. I mean, how much money you lose. You know, yeah, man, when you man. first starting off, ain't hey, it's all money out. Exactly. <laughs> you know all money exactly. Out. It's all money out. It ain't, it, you know, it, it takes exactly. a while. Exactly, it takes a while, and you still got You gotta, you gotta stay on it. You know, um, what have you went through? You know, some of the things you went through while on your journey. Man, uh, a lot. I mean, going from having the idea, having the thoughts about, about doing it, mm. and sitting down like, damn, now nah, I'm really gonna do it to get it into it to like. You no, know, now people are counting on me to be offering the service or whatever it may be. So it's it's a level of just responsibility on every level because it, it's you. That's your name. You you put your name behind your business, your brand. And yeah. and if you slack off, you don't offer the quality, whatever it may be. Mm. I mean, that's that's just on your name. That's on your business, and you can't blame the rest of the company because you are the company. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You 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 started that. So I mean, personally, I've been through just. Having somebody I brought into my business, mm. thinking you can just trust anybody, bring somebody into your business and offer him, offer them this and that, and then you look dumb if they if they do something <laughs> wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because um, they represent you now, so um, it, it's I've had to learn who to who to work with, who to trust, and who to have as a as a business partner or a business uh, associate, whatever whatever it may be. If I need to work with them, mm. if they can offer me a service, I'm at least gonna work with you. And give it a shot. Yeah, you know, you you gotta at least give people an opportunity because mm. you just shutting all the doors. You ain't gonna have no one to open later on. So, um, I at least want, I want, I at least leave my doors open. Um, I put my foot in if I don't like it. Obviously, I'm not gonna compromise myself mm. and, and my morals, whatever it is, to get the money faster or whatever that may be. You know what I mean? Mm. I'm gonna work as much as I need to to get what I need. So, and I've seen that uh, with you. You know. Um I was seeing you doing the, the the music, and then I see you on the um, on Instagram or Facebook. You recording people's videos. You doing documentaries. Um, talk to them about. I know you got a magazine coming out too, right? Yes, so sir. Let them know about what you got going. You know, man, break man. it down like a fraction. I mean, uh, uh, the biggest part of my company right now is the music videos that I've been doing. I've been working with a lot of artists like Profit. I've been working with uh, Q Hype, London Bridges. Uh, I'm going to be working with Smurf tomorrow. Uh, Ferno. I mean, a, a lot of a lot of artists that I hear from Dago that are trying to get on, that want to work, but you know that I want to be able to give everybody the opportunity to do that. Um, so I'm also working on some documentaries for San Diego. Uh, basically, the hustle, the the grind of San Diego. Everybody that's been hustling out here. Uh, it's time, it's I mean, it's time for San Diego to be on the map. Is the biggest is the for biggest real. point for me. I mean, we we an hour and a half away from Los Angeles, and they've been on for how long? And we right here doing the same things for just as long as them. So. Yeah. Um, then also, you know, uh, I've been working with uh, getting an entertainment profit, Q hype, and all them. Just uh, making sure we we working together. I'm, I just started a TV show for them personally for them, and uh, so I'll be coming up here the first of uh, of March. Actually, hopefully the first or second of March. It's going to drop. Uh, people have seen it on Facebook. It's going to be all over anywhere. Just you know, just watch out for it, man. Because we we doing everything out here. Like I said, anything y'all can think of entertainment, I'm gonna I'm gonna find a way to get get you there. You know what I mean? So yeah, just. Come to come to Rose Entertainment, man. That's what it is. <laughs> hey, this young brother out there getting it too. He ain't lying about what he's doing. He uh, straight hustle. He's just straight hustler, you know. Um, Smurf, 
Anthony, you know, those are my little rallies. So right. I'm going to have um, getting it in entertainment up in here. Um, I think it's scheduled next month. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And you said, um, how you get Smurf in the studio? Um, actually, yeah. Prophet just hit me up the other day about him saying, hey, uh, Smurf, <laughs> Smurf, do you want to, do you want to, uh, Record this video for Smurf. I was like, yeah, I mean, I'm never going to say no if you're going to come to me with an opportunity, especially. So, like I yeah. said, I'm always going to put my foot on that door. If that opens up a, a bigger door to a big-ass room, a big-ass mansion, that's what I'm going I'm to go for. So I've been trying to get him to be serious about, um, you know, getting in the studio because he's super dope. Right. You know, and you, man, uh, I see you. You helping other folks to see, you know, and that's that, I love doing that. You know, um, um, Smurf came to me. You know, when he wanted to do the shirts, uh, you know, you got to you got to help folk. You yeah, know what I mean? You got to be willing. When I wanted to start, I got at my guys, my little brothers, you know, Nick Boston and Mark yeah. Bell mm-hmm. and chopped it up with them. And they laced me with the game. You know what I mean? So if they gave it to me, how am I going to be stingy with it to help, you know, to the to the next man? And exactly. it's not competition. You know what I mean? It's not. It's not. We, we all got to do something other than doing it for other folk you know what i mean it's yeah, time for us to, to learn and use our own talents and gifts exactly. to bring us up and our families and build generational wealth you know what sure, i mean right sure. you out there i see you you know you got the shirts that it's your boy matter of fact a man brought me this dope shirt you know so you got the tray boogie right to open right. it up too yeah that's his type yeah i'm gonna tear this up oh it's, it's a it's a tear up huh go ahead or was I supposed to? See, I'll be messing with you. It's, it's all up. good. It's all good. It's, it's, <laughs> you got it all here. You, you got it all nice and packed. I'm like a little kid on Christmas. <laughs> uh, you, know, you just rip it up. Rip it up. Yeah, he got me this dope shirt, y'all. Man, doing it. Got the tray boogie. What you say? It got him sucking on the back, too? Okay. Ah, got the boogie's flavor on the back. All right, all right. Yeah, this is tight. This is real tight. I'm going to rock this Thursday on my Thursday show. Yes, sir. Give yes, you sir. props. Appreciate you. Appreciate, Appreciate you. you. I can't do I got the cards, too. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. See, this is what I'm talking about, man. You know, business. Business owners. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. People running businesses and doing it. Yes, sir. Uh, tell them some more. You know, you say, I know you do a lot of things with um, um, PGF, you know, yes. Paving Great Futures, I mean. <laughs> um it's not called PGF no more. It's <laughs> Paving Great Futures. So, told yes, you, sir. my little bros. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. you know, let them know what you know what where they, where they can find you. You know, out there in the community because you you're doing it and you you're being seen. So, um, one thing, uh, one way you can find me is on Instagram at Stony Tone underscore the Mayor. Um, you can also find me over at my other one. I have like four of them to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I, I seen that the other day. I was I, like, man. Yeah, I got like four <laughs> Instagrams, bro. Because the thing is, I do. I have one for 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 what I do in my personal, and okay. then I exactly. I do photography, and I and I go find murals and stuff like that. Hmm. So I got a social media just geared for that, and like cars, and like okay. when I go to shows right, right. and stuff like that. You know, I have one just for that called Hawk Media. I think it's underscore something else, but I forgot the rest of it. Um, you know what I we'll mean? Post we'll post it. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll post it. Yeah, we'll post them. I got I, like I said, I got four. So trying to remember all four is. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I also did one called Change the Narrative mm. because the reason I did that was because I was actually helping with Big June's uh, Footprints Movement. Okay. okay. And so with that came me wanting to do my own thing, and I was just like, okay, this is cool. He's doing footprints. So if he's doing that to try to change people's minds, mm. I'm a not 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 copy him, but I'm going to piggyback a little bit and be like, okay, well, let's change the narrative. Mm. You know what I mean? And I was going to do some shirts, you know what I mean? But I never did it. Okay. And then I ended up not doing my business and all of that. And then later on down the line, here I am today. And now I have my business, but it's not with that. It's actually with called Stone Diegan. Okay. And with that, that's actually derived from San Diegan. I'm just a, somebody who smokes weed. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So instead of San Diegan, I'm a Stone Diegan. You know what I mean? And with that, I, I, I just felt like, you know... San Diego, I know a lot of people who smoke weed out here in San Diego. So, you know, with that came, okay, how do I appeal to this community? You know what I mean? Because everybody else, they want to appeal to, oh, okay, I want to be different. Okay, I'm trying to stand out. Okay, but nobody really has San Diego or San Diegan or really any of that in their name, in their brand. And I'm starting to see that a lot. And I'm just like, 
okay, well, I'm going to be different. I'm going to call it Stone Diego. Okay. You know, so there's that. Um, the stuff that I do in the community with, with Paving Great Futures, you know, that type of stuff, that it's, 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 it's all kinds of things. It, it goes from helping kids at Christmas time to helping families at Thanksgiving mm-hmm. to you learning how to start your own business, learning how to get an LLC, learning what LLC even means. Right, right. You know what I mean? If you want to Very start, proud of them, man. You feel me? Like, it's, it's, it's so much that you can learn. They help everybody from kids to felons. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Literally, kids to felons. Your grandma could get help. Your aunties could get help. Your mom could get help. Your brother, your sister, your auntie, your cousin, so on and so forth. Everybody could get help. Mm. You just got to want the help. You got to want to be able to reach out because they have a lot of programs. Trust me. There's a lot of programs. And I went through at least two of them, and I graduated on both. It was called CHAMP and the other one. You was in the first CHAMP um, one, weren't you? Not not in their first one, no. I came like probably a few years later after their program was like up and running and really just – got its name out there and everything like that. But once I did get involved, it was something that I really found myself I wasn't able to keep myself away from Mm -hmm. because Mm -hmm. they they, they make it fun. They don't make it to where it's something like where it's really like, damn, this is community service. Ain't military Mm -hmm. style. Mm -hmm. It's not like that. Cracking the whip on you. You know what I mean? Trust me, there's times where it is like that because of where you're at. You might be at a police convention, so you got to uphold yourself a certain type of way. You can't just be out here trying to just... Ooh, rah, rah, yeah, rah, yeah, rah. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. you can't do that everywhere, you know? And so with that, you also learn how to be respectful. You learn how to just carry yourself as a man or as a, a young woman, you know what I mean? It don't matter, you know, it just, you learn a lot. I've And I've learned a lot. I've mm. learned a lot. I've seen a lot with them, and I've been introduced to a lot of people. I've been in, introduced to all kinds of people, from policemen to county, county, county city officials, to Monica, Did you ever imagine Montgomery? yourself being in front of those type of people? Nope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Never. You not know? once. Not once that I ever even imagined that I'd be even doing anything any close to this. Mm-hmm. Because at one point in my life, I was reaching a point where I just didn't care about nothing. I didn't even care about my well-being. <clears throat> I just, I was just reached a point. I was just living. Mm. You know, because just living life, just living, and whatever happens, whatever happens, mm-hmm. <laughs> day by day, and then I, mm-hmm. I had to snap back to reality and realize you can't live like that because you would definitely fall by the wayside. Mm. Yes. And also, you know, <clears throat> while we talking about that, I want to you do things with the round table too. Yes, I want to shot that out. You know, I thought that was a beautiful thing. You know what I mean? I actually had a shirt. It's on the website with the the blue and red bandanas mm-hmm. when you guys first started that. I said. Uh, let me jump on that. Okay. But I didn't put it on the street, you know. Mm-hmm. It's on the website, though. But, yeah, the round table, you talk about that, what's going on in that. So with that, the round table, really, we started that. Well, I didn't start it. Uh, my boy, Nine Kill Radio, mm-hmm. Deshante Jones over big there. Up, you know, big up. Uh, he was supposed he, to come tonight. He, uh, he started that, you know, and got everybody in the community involved. And with that came a lot of learning how to either be men or learning how to understand how to be around okay if you're from this hood and this person's from this hood and this is your enemy's hoods in the Mm. same vicinity you may not be enemies but your hoods are enemies Mm. y'all learn how to be cordial with each other you know what i mean and 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 some days we might not talk about nothing Mm. you know and there might be days where we do talk about something but either way the fact that we're learning how to be men and be cordial amongst our what we would call our ops or our on the streets on the streets you know what i mean it, it that's that that means way more to me than anything because the streets are wicked right now. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's a lot, a lot of stuff going just, on in the streets just right last now. Last night, yeah, a lot you of stuff out I mean? here in San Diego. So it's just like just trying to figure out how to get everybody come together and just realize that okay, we're not saying y'all need to turn in your flags mm-hmm. and peace treat, and we're not saying all of that. But what we are saying is we we all got to live here. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's only one San Diego. We can either burn it down or we can learn how to live cordially to a point to where our kids can still go outside. And see, that's 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 the thing right there. That's what I remember being able to do, you know, as a kid. We used to be able to walk around, go to parks, play at parks, exactly. play in the middle of the street. Exactly. All that stuff, you know. It's not like that anymore. Hmm. You know? Definitely not. And you, you uh, let's talk about your video because you, you do videos for folks. You... Yes, you know, hey, let them know your prices and stuff, man. This is promotion time right now. Let them know. Yes, sir. Right now, right now, for music videos, this is my, my last week of, 
uh, two hundred dollar video. So about two hundred for two hours. You was even doing um lower than that. I was, I was for a minute. I was doing lower, but right now I'm working with the team of editors and okay. a, a lot of different equipment I'm gonna be working with. So you know, prices going up. But after this week, it's gonna be going up to three hundred. Um, and honestly, it's probably gonna start going up from there. So let everybody know, just get in now while it's still a little bit cheaper. You know what I mean? That's it's two hundred for two hours right now, and uh, it's gonna go up to three hundred next week. So. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we we just that's working, still man. Good. That's still good. Yes, sir. You know, that's still good prices. That's for it's for full video editing. I mean, anything you want to do, if you want to do all the acting stuff in there, there's as long as you got the budget for it, I'm gonna work with you. So, I mean, if you can't afford everything right the spot, I'm I'm still gonna work with you. I don't want you to not to do a video because you can't afford everything for the full budget right now. If you can afford the two hours, to get the two hours in it, go from there. You know what I mean? We can continue on once you have more, whatever it is. So, hmm. yes, sir. That, I, I, like I said, you used to charge lower, and I was like, man, I, I, I hope a lot of people was jumping on that. You know, how did that go for you? Uh, I, I'm working about six projects right now. Okay, uh, that are, are films. So I'm working about six videos, different videos right now. So, man, yes, sir. Listen, I told y'all, man, these brothers is doing it. If y'all see them out there, support what they doing. Follow them. You know, they're approachable. <laughs> <laughs> talk to them. They'll talk back. You know, right. Any advice for um uh. uh a youngster or anybody who's thinking about becoming an entrepreneur, you know, I mean, man, be ready for the ride. <laughs> uh, you you got to be ready for it. You got to mentally prepare yourself for this because it's it, it's fun. It, it's it's dope being able to be your own boss, be able to do make the money and put some money on pocket all the time, whatever your hustle is. But right, it's it's a lot of work. It's a lot more work than just putting your foot in and say, "Oh, I'm going to do this." Uh, yeah, you can say it all you want. I mean, it looks you know the confidence is great. But if if you ain't ready for the work, it's gonna be a struggle for real. A struggle for real. So just just be prepared, man. You get it's gonna be dope, but it's, you gotta be prepared. Gotta be prepared. I say most one, most importantly, just don't give up. You know what I mean? Because the minute you give up, that could be the day you could have made it. You right. know what I mean? Or that could have been the day that you got that million dollar contract, or whatever the case may be in the situation that you're in when you decide to do it, don't just don't give up because you never know what happens. You never know what door might open mm. because you might get, it might not be the door you need, but it'll be the door to get you halfway there. You That's know what right. I mean? And then once you get halfway there, okay, now how do I get the rest of the way? Right. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? You step by step. And I'm not saying it got to be baby steps. It might be a one big leap and then boom, you might hit a wall mm. Mm. or it might be one big leap. And now you get to see the green pastures for the rest of the way. That's right. You know, but either way, keep at it. You know, um, I would say also uh, make sure you got a dream. Make sure your vision makes sense. Mm-hmm. Because if your vision don't make sense, what you're doing ain't going to go fall through. It's, it's just going to fall fall right through. And that's not what you want. So I would definitely say make sure your vision makes sense. And if you got to write it down, write it down. You know what I mean? Because that, wrong with that. Yeah, it, it, trust me, it helps because some people we people forget we're human. You know what I mean? Some of us, we smoke weed, we drink, we do whatever we do. So we might forget in the heat of the moment. We might go out party, whatever, forget. Hey, man, you know, make sure you write that idea down because you might not know that that might be your million, million dollar plan right there on that piece exactly, of paper. Exactly. All you got to do is follow the steps. If you wrote down the steps, follow your steps and execute it to the fullest potential. You'll be surprised how far you get. And also, don't question yourself, man. Just, if you know that you you doing what you do. Mm-hmm. If that's what you do, even if somebody try to come out, you say that's not the right way or give you this way. Obviously, you you know keep it open ear, keep an open mind, but don't don't compromise yourself, don't change yourself, and just man, you got to keep doing you and trust what you what you you're going with. Because at the end of the day, like I said it, it's it's you. Right. That's your name. That's your your brand. That's your business right there. Right. So you 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 got to be willing to make those decisions. So yeah. And at this point in the interview, you know, I, I just want to ask you if there was anything I missed that we should have covered, we could bring it up now um, and to give out your shout outs. Anybody you want to give shout outs to? Uh, just everybody who's been following me, um, everybody who's been reaching out because I didn't had quite a few sales. You know, I didn't have people who didn't came back three, four times. Um <laughs> You know, that's I a beautiful did, feeling, ain't it? It is, especially when I'm getting out of state sales. I didn't got at least I think it was seven or eight out of state sales so far. It may not be a lot, but that that seven or eight means a lot to me. Right. You know that's what right. I mean? Because I never thought I could reach as far as Georgia or Denver, Colorado, exactly. or you know what I mean, Alaska for that matter. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I don't know nobody in Alaska, but I do now. That's right. You know what I mean? So it's just like little stuff like that. It matters. I. 
I, I post it, and I never know when I post it. I never know what's going to sell and what's not going to sell. Mm. And I have so many ideas. It's just I wake up and I create something every day because I've reached a point to where I'm tired of giving them all my money. Mm. I'm tired of buying brands that don't care about me or my people. I'm tired of buying their stuff. Yeah. Why, why give them the money when I can sit at home and I can make my own stuff and be happy with that? That's right. Or I can All support, right. support, or I can we'll support, support the Dago, other, other Dago brands yeah. like I do because, trust me, I, I got a lot of Dago stuff from Barely See the Beach to Walk Away No Drama Today to What's the Word Nerd, Booming, Breep Squad, Footprints, Etc. cetera, it's too many. I'm trying to tell you. It's it's so many more. Trench, Boogie's flavor, you know, he I'm about to get some of his stuff soon, you know what I mean? So it's just it's it's a lot that's gonna get it's gonna, it's it's a lot. Yeah, it's and I, I, I believe in that too, support and I, I got most of those shirts too, you know what I mean? I I, I constant um no dead beats in the set, exactly. it's all of them, so mm. Cute. No, definitely. Uh, big shout out to Trey Boogie Flavor, man. You oh, know man. what I mean? Great to be you. on the show finally and man, good to work. But no, definitely uh, get in entertainment, you know, Profit, uh, Q High, uh, London Bridges, DAP, uh, and LaBoy, man. All them, they're, they're working. They're, they're really grinding. I've been working with them in the last few months, man, all the time. And every time there, there's a new music video, there's a shoot. There's a, a, a new song they're about to drop. Songs they have in their, their arsenal, they still got to drop. Everything like that, you know what I mean? Um, definitely just everybody that's been working. San Diego, man. That's why I have my business right now is San Diego. So, yeah, big shout out to San Diego and... Uh, yeah, man. That's what's up. Yeah, uh, like I said, follow them. Follow these guys. Get their info from the video. Yell them out again. Shoot them out again. So just in case they forgot or didn't write it down. My main one that I know that y'all could go to and get all my other ones is Stony Tone underscore the mayor. My yes, Instagram. Uh, the main one for me on Instagram is rose.ent.studios, man. rose.ent.studios. That's, that's the main page, and you can find all the other ones right there and the, directly in the bio. So, And this ain't, you know, this is the first of many, man. I'm a, I, I would love to have y'all back on here again, you know, maybe come and uh, co-host or something with okay. me one time, you know. Um, I'm going a, I'm to a try to do this monthly, bringing in some entrepreneurs, you know. Um, I really like the... I really like what I'm seeing in San Diego right now, you know, and because of the pandemic, it opened up a lot of doors for people and it got people thinking and coming up with some great ideas, you know, and I like seeing that. So until next week, y'all, it's your, it's your big homie's big homie, Trey Boogie, and this is Let's Chop It Up. Yeah. Yes, sir. FNG shit. Shot the whole day, go shot the bro Trey Boogie. We slide, huh? <laughs> Sliding in the rim, trying to run a milli up. In the southeast, Trey Boogie been a plug. Rubber bands on the blues, hella panoramic views. If you get into it with the squad, you can never lose, uh, uh. It's on the flow like yellow rider. I got your vibe on her toes like nail polish. In the city, we get respected from everybody. You about to pull up on Trey Boogie, now let's chop it. If you talking about the game, let's chop it up. If you talking about the hustle, let's chop it up. If you talking about the grind, let's chop it up. Talking about some fly vibes, baby, let's chop it up.